Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. In episode 260, I want to talk about five key threats, five key threats that resilience leaders should have top of your minds as we head into the latter half of 2024. The first one is the 2024 election and with that election related risks. Not only with the 2024 US presidential elections happening later this year, but more than half of the world will have national elections that will change the makeup or potentially change the makeup of their national governments. We've already seen this happen in France, uh, the United Kingdom, and there are many more elections coming as well. All of these pose a risk of geopolitical instability and other challenges uh, that are evolved, other challenges around the shift in political power and how parties will think about things in different ways. There's also election-related cybersecurity risk. We see an increased risk of cyber attacks targeting critical infrastructure, including voting systems, political organizations, and media outlets. So you should think about how you can enhance your cybersecurity measures and be vigilant against misinformation campaigns that can affect public perception and market stability. Number two, the South China Sea. We continue to see tensions rise in the South China Sea This remains a geopolitical hotspot where there is rising tension involving key global players, not just between Taiwan and China, but between the United States and its allies and China and its potential allies. These tensions can cause disruption to international trade routes and supply chains in that area, particularly for industries that are highly reliant upon East Asia manufacturing companies should prepare for potential disruptions and consider alternate sourcing strategies. Number three, climate change and extreme weather events. The summer of 2024 has already seen record-breaking heat waves around the world and wildfires in many places, uh, exasperating concerns around climate change and its impact on extreme weather. Your business needs to develop robust climate resilience plans as a part of your business continuity process, focusing on infrastructure protection, supply chain continuity, and employee safety in the affected regions. Number four are supply chain disruptions due to ongoing semiconductor challenges. Uh, This continues to be a problem that affects industries from automotive all the way over to consumer electronics. As this continues to evolve, companies need to navigate your supply constraints and consider diversifying your suppliers or investing in alternate suppliers and technologies where possible. And fifth, the regulatory shifts around data privacy and artificial intelligence. There are emerging regulations in many places around data privacy, specifically concerning AI and machine learning, and these regulations are becoming much more stringent. With new laws being enacted in the European Union and the United States, Organizations need to ensure compliance with those laws and that they are protecting the data of their consumers. This includes adapting to new regulations like the EU's AI Act and updating your privacy policies to align with new evolving standards. Now, these are some very specific threats. They may or may not impact your organization directly, but there is always an impact to someone that you're interacting with or doing business with. So in some way, these are threats that will impact all of us. As always, stay vigilant, stay on top of uh, breaking news and emerging events as you enter the latter half of the year. And as your plans continue to evolve, as you react to those risks and threats, your organization will continue to be resilient. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.